Um, Art, I'll tell you. It is now what? The fourth or the fifth, isn't it? It's now it's now the fifth most fifth times of zones, May, yeah. 1998, and it's on your show. If I'm alive, I'll be then 79 and well, and we are talking. It will be a totally changed international scene and a very changed USA. And I'm willing to make a modest bet of $5 with you on that <laughs> <laughs> about a very serious matter. And it will be the end of the uh, papacy as we know it and of the institutional organization as we know it. There will be an underground church which there exists already. Most endings are the beginning of something else. Uh, uh, so true. That's one of the truest historical statements you've ever made. And it, you see, Art, uh, the, the comparison, uh, please do not take this as outlandish. The comparison is Christ himself, the man, Jesus Christ, who was a very big man, according to the Shroud of Turin, and I firmly believe in that. But and he was a big man, and he was crucified, and he was bled like a pig, and he died. And that body ceased to be animate. And I think that that's what the church is going to, the Roman Catholic Church is going to go through. Crucifixion. Resurrection. Death and resurrection and glorification. But in the meantime, we have to go through the agony in the garden and the Via Dolorosa. <laughs> I was, um... It isn't pleasant to think about. I was at, I was at the very place in, in Bethlehem uh -huh. where Christ was born. They, uh -huh. they mark it. They yeah. mark it. Uh, and when, ah. you, when you were there, uh, when you were standing right in front of that spot, mm -hmm. you know uh, whether you're a religious That's person fake. or uh, not. True. You know. You, you, just you know. know, Art. You know. Something inside in you and ev everything around you tells you that. Yes. It's uh, extraordinary. You, you recall my moment of truth there, too. Um, Father... Uh, here's a question from a listener. I want to try to get some of them in. Um, yes. uh, here's somebody who asks um, from Tucson, if there are demonic possessions, are there ever angelic possessions? What of an course. interesting question. There are? Of course, of course there are. Of course there are. I know people, not many, but I know people, and I call them up in some crisis and say, by the way, we, uh, such and such is needed in such and such a place. And they'll say, oh, well, there, there's help on the way. Uh, and they talk with their angel, uh, 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 and they live with them. And it's extraordinary. It covers the whole gamut, from young teenage girls to uh, grown men in responsible places in government and in science and the profession, to old people, to little children. It runs the gamut. Yes, there are, because the thrill of the demonic, there's all of that. I keep that, using that word because that's what attracts its adherence. I would like to read uh, for you, Father, something uh, sent by uh, Rit uh, Dr. Richard uh, Boylan, and uh, it is on the Internet uh, worldwide right now. Monsignor Balducci, a oh, yeah. Vatican theologian, uh, insider close to the Pope, has gone, has gone on national Italian television five times in recent months to proclaim that extraterrestrial contact is a real phenomenon. He announced that the Vatican is receiving much information about extraterrestrials and their contacts with humans from its embassies in various countries such as Mexico, Chile, Venezuela, uh, and more. Monsignor Balducci said that he is on a Vatican commission looking into extraterrestrial encounters and how to cope with the emerging general realization of extraterrestrial contact. He provided the Catholic Church's analysis of extraterrestrials, emphasizing that extraterrestrial encounters, quote, are not, in capitals, demonic, and are not due to psychological impairment, and are not a case of entity attachment, but these encounters deserve to be studied carefully, end quote. What do you, what can you tell me about this? Well, Monsignore Corrado Balducci uh, is now, I think he may be my age, in the 70s. Yes, sir. I think what I can find out. Um, he is now a blowhard 
you know, he's not a, a publicity seeker. Mm -hmm. But the subject he discusses, and we're discussing now, and we'll be discussing this for quite a while, Art, especially in the light of things that will happen in the next year, um, we're discussing a subject which is so volatile, it's really the... Uh, it's really the, the source oh, you, of... You hit a touchstone there, with my, with my ear, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, pardon me, and everybody listening, please pardon me. Um, I, it's a volatile subject, uh, like natural glycerin. It's ready to explode. Because here's the, the central nub which Corrado Balducci and everybody faces is this. Until the relevant governments, and I realize I'm walking on thin ice here, Thin ice, indeed. Uh, uh, thin, ice, uh, thin ice of security. Security. National security and international security. Yes. So I've got to be very careful. Um, and Claude Balducci, I hope, he should be careful too. The, until the relevant governments, and it's not merely the EU government of the U.S., but other governments are willing to put in public the facts about what they consider extraterrestrial activity. It is impossible to make sensible statements that, uh, that make sense, statements that make sense. And uh, uh, until they do, we're in the dark, really, as regards the general public. We haven't got this scientifically controllable facts. And uh, I don't think we're going to have them very soon. We have discussed this before, Father, but um, there is no question the Vatican has astronomical observatories all over the place. Uh, one on Mount Graham, for example, that right. somehow the Vatican applied every bit of pressure that it had and blew by all the environmental concerns and got that That's right. uh, facility in place. And right. um, the question, just the good, simple, flat-out question, is what would the Vatican be looking for in space, Father? Well, as you know, the central doctrine taught by the church is that Christ, Jesus of Nazareth, was the Son of God. He died for all men, all rational beings. And uh, hitherto, in the thinking of Christianity, this has been confined to the human race. Now, uh, Balducci, rightly, um, points to phrases of Christ, of Jesus, that we pass over too easily. When he appeared to them after the resurrection, he said, um, Fear not, it is I. All power has been given to me on earth and in the skies. And while Balducci knows that as far as he can make out from the little details, the sparse details uh, revealed by the relevant governments that if there is any rational activity, technologically advanced beings, they're not in our galaxy. They're transgalactic. Mm -hmm. But we don't know. We have no concrete evidence. And it's like everything else, until we get concrete evidence given to us so we can touch and see and hear and measure, uh, we're in the dark. But, of course, the Vatican is absolutely uh, riveted by the possibility that there are rational beings, not necessarily human beings, uh, outside in a transgalactic position. But we don't know. So the great... The great, uh, the great uh, uh, pr uh, proviso, the great uh, temporary proviso is to say we don't know, we suspect, we think. Uh, certainly, you see, in, in the time of Columbus when he set out with those three ships to go to the Indies, one of the revolts, one of the mutinies he underwent was that the sailors believed once they passed a certain point that the nails holding the ship's um, uh, bo uh, planks would fall apart. That's right. Would, would disintegrate. Right. And they also had, we now know, the medieval myths about the men in Tibet. 
three-headed men and the four-headed lions and the, the, the five-tailed, five-foot dogs, etc., which were all mythical creatures. And so a lot of people are inclined to say, no, all this blather, all this talk about uh, extraterrestrials is really, it's, it's the tricks of the demon. No, 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 that's, that's, not, that's not rational thinking at all. You're saying it is rational to conclude there is life out there, and obviously that's why they're looking for it? It is rational to say that uh, there is such secrecy about what is known by authoritative government centers that we have to wait and see. All right, Father, hold it right there. Sure. Good long break. We'll be back from the high desert. This is Coast to Coast AM.